An overwhelming act of generosity that captivated the country has been matched by a despicable crime. The Nova Scotia couple who gave away almost all of their $11.2 million lotto win has found themselves being used in an online scam. As Global's Marie Adset reports, they're telling others not to be taken in by someone using their names. About it. Using a good name for something that's not good. That's what bugs me. Alan Large of Lower Truro, Nova Scotia is moved to tears over a stump by email scammers. We're hardworking, honest people. Alan and Violet Large, who is being treated for cancer, shocked many this year when, in an act of overwhelming generosity, gave away most of their $11.2 million lottery winnings to local charities and community organizations. Now they're shocked to learn someone is using their names and their story of goodwill to cash in for themselves. It makes you mad and disgusted how anybody could do such a thing. They must be sick in the head. The email, a variation of the Nigerian scam that has been going around for years, is supposedly written by Alan. In it, the writer talks of his lottery winnings and his desire to give money to charities around the world. Typically, in scams like this, all the reader has to do is send a small donation. In return, they'll receive a substantial portion of the supposed lottery winnings to disperse as they see fit. Of course, that money would never be sent, and the donated money would be kept by the scammers. For Alan, the latest incident makes him regret ever winning in the first place. This extra money was nothing but a bloody headache, and I mean headache, a great big headache. Violet and Alan Large say the winnings are all gone and want to protect anyone from falling victim to the scam. Now the couple just wants to spend a quiet Christmas. Marie Adset, Global News, Lower Truro, Nova Scotia. And investigators say the best way to deal with these emails, as with most spam, is to delete it even before opening it, regardless of what the email's subject heading might read.